Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, we are going to be talking about Frank Warren coming out with Tyson Fury, and it says that they are currently working on the Deontay Wilder rematch, and that the two fights that he wants for this year are only Deontay Wilder rematch and Anthony Joshua afterwards, okay? Now, this should kind of hush up all the naysayers talking about Deontay Wilder, he's not fighting Tyson Fury, he's fighting Dominic Brazil, and so forth and so forth, and it's like, I don't know why these fools be friggin' talking all this crap for no reason when they don't have any kind of claims to back it up, especially when you have the people coming out themselves telling you what they're doing and then people still want to make up their own narratives which makes no sense to me but in this interview on talksport.com it says back in action frank warren reveals tyson fury's two fight 2019 plan updates on deontay water rematch and anthony joshua there is a busy year ahead for the gypsy king it goes on to state in this article Promoter Frank Warren has mapped out Tyson Fury's 2019 with two potential mega fights on the horizon. Having returned to the ring last year, the 30-year-old former unified heavyweight King had two comeback bouts before challenging WBC champion Deontay Wilder. As their bout ended in a disputed draw, a rematch is Fury's first target for the new calendar. We want to make the fights that matter, and that is what we will do. Warren stated in his New Year's column, those are the only fights Tyson Fury is interested in after reasserting himself as the world's best heavyweight. He may not have the belts, but he is at the top of the charts again now, and we are working on his rematch with Wilder currently. It also goes on to state an article. When the Gypsy King beat Vladimir Klitschko in 2015, he claimed the WBA, IBF, and WBO World Heavyweight titles. In his absence from the ring, British rival Anthony Joshua collected all three of those belts, and so he is the second target for 2019. After Wilder, he will want Anthony Joshua, Frank Warren continued, and there is no reason from our side why this shouldn't become a reality. It is a fight the British public will demand to see before too long, quote. Now, he said a lot of things in this article that should kind of shut a lot of people up just for the simple fact is, like I was saying earlier, a lot of people like to make up their own narratives for no reason. Literally, they're just making up stories with no facts to back up their claim. And then they'll just make up the story and then they'll be like hashtag facts or they'll say facts after what they said. And it's like, dude, what the hell are you talking about? You ain't got no facts to back up what you're saying. But Frank Warren is telling you what the facts are right now coming not only from him, but from Tyson Fury, where it states a rematch is Fury's first target for the new calendar. That means that Deontay Wilder is going to be Tyson Fury's first fight for 2019 and then they already stated later on in the article when he said we are working on this rematch with wilder currently and then it goes on to state later on in the article after wilder he will want anthony joshua and there is no reason from our side why this shouldn't become a reality so that means after deontay wilder he will want the match with anthony joshua and from their side i highly doubt that they're going to be putting in any kind of roadblocks or anything like that that's going to be able to keep that fight from happening so the only roadblocks that i can really see would be from anthony joshua's side over there in matchroom boxing because if deontay wilder and tyson fury can have two back-to-back -back fights with no freaking problems I don't see what the huge deal is it for them to be able to make a fight with friggin' Anthony Joshua. And the only person that I see standing in the way of that is Eddie Hearn. Because with Eddie Hearn, it's always going to be about the politics. It's always going to be about the money. Who's the A side? Who's the B side? Who's going to be getting more? And that's the sucky part about the business of boxing is that it's those kind of politics that stop these great fights from happening. But by the sound of this article, 2019 is going to be a really good year for some boxing. So you can already see from this article, Tyson Fury, there are no rumors in this article talking about him fighting Dillian White. He is going to be fighting Deontay Wilder, and they're working on the rematch right now as we speak. And I've said that in a few of my videos 
where I've even posted the actual statement stating that they were working on the rematch. But it is what it is now, you guys. So you guys have the information right here for yourself. And you can go to this article on TalkSport.com to be able to check it out for yourself, all right? So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, make sure to hit me up in the comments section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.